I mean, it doesn't change anything because I've always believed that every team that I'm on, I'm always going to have an opportunity to win a championship. This year is another opportunity, another chance, another season. This is going to be all new page. I'm not even going to say new page. It's going to be all new book. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. Coming in, obviously, uh, it made it clear once Nick Nurse got here. It was the best decision I made this summer. Let's go! Let's go! Stop walking around so much. Stop walking around so much. Walking around too much. Let's go! I'm ready to go out there and, and rage and perform for the crowd. You know, especially Phillies fans are crazy. So to have them on my side, man, I'm, I'm really stoked about that. Everybody here has a chip on their shoulder. It's something to prove. Uh, I feel like Coach Nick Nurse has something to prove coming to Philadelphia. Start making your way. Okay. The thing about Nick Nurse, I think he's he's been there. You know what I mean? He's been there. He's won. He had to prove himself everywhere on every level as Nurse, a rookie NBA head coach, gets an NBA championship in his first year. And you can see his hunger to get back there. I'm a foul ref. Damn it, I need that one. Listen, I think that it's a really good team. That's why I came here. And it's a tremendous challenge to try to win it. That's what I get up every day thinking about, trying to find that path to the title. So we got to find it, and that's what we're going to try to do. Oh, now we're talking. Right, now we're talking. Let's hope this is the right size. Here, I can take the hat. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. You going to take the Sixers one back from me? Oh, 25, too, huh? It's a nice jersey, man. That's what they're wearing today. Awesome. Fit right in. I look good in this Philly stuff. I feel good in it. It's all about a uniform, right? <laughs> one of the things that I noticed for sure, I don't know if it's surprising or not, but um, when a um, Toronto fan would see me in the airport and kind of say, hey, coach, you know, and and a Philly fan would come up to me and say, hey, are you going to do this, 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 and this? I mean, they were coaching me. They weren't just saying hello. They were they were coaching. Hey, good luck to you, Thanks, man. Thanks a lot, guys. Come on, come take your hands you guys first. got some nice seats. Nah, we're all right. Chef. We're all right. Hey, 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 all right, there you go. Hey, hey, Can you sign hey. this? You got a pen? How am I? Welcome to Philly, dude. Fit. All right. Welcome to Philly, dude. All right, man. Sixers, all right, baby. guys. So much strike today, too. <laughs> I'm going to try it. And I think that shows the tremendous passion and, and how invested they all are and the knowledge that they have about the team. Okay, so I practiced a little bit. You know, I was playing catch for a little bit going into it. So I, you know, you, first thing, first and foremost on your mind is avoiding injury when you're my age. I throw some heat, but I ain't loose. Dude. I'm gonna have to throw a lot one in there. So I did. I did warm. Uh, did, did work at it a little bit. All right, go ahead out. You can start making your way. Okay. This was the second first pitch I've thrown out, and I threw one out in, in Chicago at Wrigley Field, and Kimbrel was playing for them at the time, and I kept telling all my buddies, I'm gonna go out there and do Kimbrel, and then I didn't do it. And they were like, man, why didn't you do it, why didn't you do it? So this time, I went ahead, I had Kimbrel's back now for the for the Phillies, so I, I went ahead and did that. Not bad. Well, I don't. It was really good. What's up with the Fanatic? I would have yeah. has to frame right, that. Right, He's got to frame that. I <laughs> thought I threw a pretty decent pitch. I thought the Fanatic could have framed it for an outside corner strike, but he didn't. And 26 miles per hour is the official uh, radar gun on that. So, not bad. <laughs> Fellow Canadian. I mean, I'm not Canadian, but I lived there 10 years. I just moved from Ontario. How you doing? Where were you in? Were you in the Toronto area? I lived in Port Credit. Oh, did you really? Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I brought you a jersey. Oh, awesome. Sixers jersey. Oh. With your name on it. Awesome. <laughs> you guys gave me a nice one, my favorite number on the back. So 25. Awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's awesome. Well, that's good, man. Well, good luck welcome. to you. Keep it welcome going. Philly. Thank you so much. You good win, luck to you. You win, they love you. I understand. That's what I came here to do. <laughs>
<laughs> Keep it going, That's man. Right. Thanks for taking the time. Have a good game today. Thanks. All right, thank you. Yep, yep. I'll see you on the way back. Okay, thanks for everything. You're welcome. I just like Nick Nurse's story, too. I like, uh, you know, he started from overseas. You know, like I like to call it the trenches. Uh, built something, created his own path. This, this dog is out the mud mentality. It's a mentality. Um, he eats, sleep, live it, breathe it. You could say he got a chip on his shoulder. Literally, I did it in reverse a little bit. I spent the first 20 years of my coaching career as a head coach, and I uh, just really had a lot of ideas and stuff I needed to get out of me, and I needed to like run a team. And um, it certainly enabled me to just work my craft, right? Find the things I liked, keep them, get rid of the, the, some of the crazy things we tried that didn't work, is throw those in the, in the rubbish bin. Another championship in the D-League. He's the first to win two in D-League history. So coming from wherever you're coming from, especially the G-League, is never easy. I got a chance to be coached for him in, in the G-League, and I don't know, 12 years later, uh, I get a chance to play for him. I'm super excited. I got a chance to play for Nick in Toronto, so we had a special year. Um, it's a lot of fun to play for him. He's a free spirit, and offensively, he lets you, you know, your flow. Danny Green for three. Bang! Danny Green does it again! I had one of my best years of my NBA career is playing with him in Toronto. He's, he's been there, you know what I mean? He's been there, he's won. And you can see his hunger to get back there. All the teams he's had, you know, he's overachieved, you would say, because, you know, he's such a good coach with the X's and O's and his defensive schemes and stuff like that. I think there's nothing like being up in front of the group. There's nothing like running training camps, running practices, calling timeouts, drawing plays, making subs, being in a lot of games, you know, all that, my training ground. You know, you could take the Toronto Raptors jerseys off, but you can tell that was a Nick Nurse team. His identity goes with him and goes with the team. There's a reason that he's a champion and there's a reason that he's always had his teams play hard. He's always had tenaciousness in his in his team, you know, and I'm ready to be uh, one of his soldiers and go to war with him and for him. So being in practice today, like, yeah, that's exactly how the teams that I've been playing against, that's the that's him. Okay, a lot of you guys saw this expect to win imagery we put up in the building. And I'm gonna tell you about the origin of where it came from for me and why it's the top of this foundation that we're building here this year. My very first year of professional coaching, I was coaching a team in Birmingham, England called the Birmingham Bullets. On my bench, I sat here, my assistant coaches, two of them sat here. I had two stat guys sitting next to me. We're at the line, we're down one. We make it, we tie it. There's like eight seconds left. The next one goes up, we miss it. This one of my players named Mike Landale rips the ball down. And instead of throwing, he threw it up in the air as the buzzer went off to celebrate, thinking we'd won the game and we were ahead. So we go to overtime, I sit down, and I look to my stat guys, I go, man, can you believe he just did that? And the stat guy said to me, typical Birmingham bullet basketball. I said, what? He goes, typical Birmingham, we've been doing stuff like that for years. And I got home that night after the game, my team was eight and eight at the time. I got home that night and I was just like, I gotta change the whole mindset of this whole place. So I went to my computer, I typed out a little two paragraph letter and I entitled it, Expect to Win. And I wrote in here that everybody when you come here, when you come to practice, when you come to our arena, no matter who we're playing, no matter what we're getting ready to do, we gotta have the mindset to win. It's a great story because it had a super happy ending. 36 games in the league, we ended 26 and 10. Ended up getting third in the league, their highest finish by a long time. Got in the playoffs, and then we beat the team in the championship, London Towers, that had won eight of the last nine titles. So that team ended up winning it all in the first year. Okay, that's where expect to win come from. We ready to go? All right, let's go, let's go. Everybody's going down to this basket when we're done. Sixers on three, one, two, three, Sixers! I feel like him as a coach and a person, you can tell he's uh, serious about, about what he does and you can tell like he really loves the game. I get on your ass about this the other day. Be one of our physical guys, not get out of him on these screens. Here we go, here we go. I feel like the energy the staff brings every day, even if you come in down, they're going to lift you up. The energy is great. So just having that, having somebody in your ear every day just work you up, teaching you stuff here and there, it's just great. It's like every day you're learning and getting better. You have no other choice. Good job. Hit him, Joel. Hit him, Joel. Yes, Joel. Keep coming. 
Knock it down. Nice pass, Kelly. Nice pass. Let's go. We don't need to. We don't need to worry about that. Let's go. Damn it, he had him. Go, 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 go. Come on, Joel. Three more rotations. That's it. We're going to the school of rebounding. Where did we finish in rebounding last year? Okay. We're gonna we're gonna get better at that. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. You okay? You all right? Nick Nurse is the player's coach. Uh, he, he loves his players, and he's all about his, uh, the well-being of his players. You know, he, he's really personable. Like, he talks to us, and he coaches, and everything he does is really a reflection on who he is as a person. A little better timing. Those guys are getting there too early, then they're getting pushed out. Yeah. How you doing? You good? Swing. I'm coming up. Touch. You're going you're gonna to be in the touch. You're not going to make a basket touch after you hit him. I'm just trying to keep that side occupied. I'm really looking for... We got to get better at the cutting to the basket on this this action. You don't really see that. Like a lot of coaches are just wearing that hat and acting and trying to like you know keep a job. I really believe that this is this is a game based on energy. And most of the things that I do, you, you call them fun. I just call them energy, energetic. We also are trying to provide ways to keep these guys playing hard, give them energy, give them things to strive for, and um, play hard and enjoy playing hard. You know how good he's playing? Oh, I think he's playing great. It's unbelievable. Like, unbelievable. He's improved so much. He's making shots. He's like... What you stand for or what you want your team to be like, um, you know, is, is really a huge part of the, the, the job. You know, we're going to roll up our sleeves and go to work, man. That's that's it. And we're going to try to play really hard. And, and I, I just I hope when fans are walking up those stairs bumping elbows and saying, man, those guys played so hard today, man. You know, and that's that's really what my job is.